Sub-zero temperatures can also wreak havoc on your home if it's not protected properly. WVUA's Chelsea Barton has more on how you can prepare your home for the Arctic blast. It's safe to say Alabamians haven't experienced temperatures this low in a while. You'd have to go back more than 10 years. Weatherproofing your house, of course, starts with doing everything possible to keep the cold weather outside. Um, starting with weather stripping around doors and windows, the plastic sheeting on older homes for the windows, covering those on the outside, giving an extra layer of protection closing any, any extra vents that could let any cold air in. Uh, you can get caulking and silicone in squeeze tubes or tubes for a gun. The more, the more time you spend filling those gaps, the less heat you'll lose. People forget to cover those faucets, but sometimes just people forget that those faucets are exposed and that's a direct line into your house to freeze water lines that you really depend on daily. Justin Irvin with Anders Hardware says weatherproofing isn't just for the exterior of your home. It's more efficiently to heat your, yourself comfortably than heat the entire home where you're not going to be spending your time mostly. In case of power outage and you really want to utilize that fireplace in your home, you want to do any kind of inspection you possibly can. And there's maintenance products, logs you can burn to reduce soot, you know, anything to um, reduce ignition that could back into the house. Irvin also suggests putting together a cold weather survival kit consisting of candles, flashlights, bottled water, and a week's worth of non-perishable food items. In the newsroom, Chelsea Barton, WVUA News.